Sunday evening. Hope everybody's doing good. If you're watching this on replay, whatever day it is, hope you're having a good day. Good week, good year, good month, all that, good life. Instagram is letting people know that I had started a live, so I am going to start this live in like 45 seconds. So everybody as y'all checking in, shout yourselves out in the comments section and I will shout y'all out back. Shout yourselves out in the comment section as y'all check in. We're gonna get started in like 45 seconds. And I'm gonna I'm going to go into this. I'm gonna try to keep this short. I told you I'm gonna try to keep these lives tight. I used to do like 45. I'm gonna try to do like 10, 15 minutes on these lives. I'm trying not to go too far. TT702 was good. Is that Vegas? Shout out Vegas. TT702 was good. Goal setting habits. What's going on? Hope you're having a good Sunday. I'm give everybody again like 10 seconds and I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get straight into this. I'm gonna try to be quick, try to keep it tight. Oliver Max Ham. What's going on? Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Had a good week, good weekend. We got a lot of stuff on deck over here. Work on your game. If you have not gotten your book, the third day is right there. If you haven't gotten your ticket to my live event, it's called Working Your Game Live. It's happening in January. You start planning for it now. Get your ticket. That's the link in my bio. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dre Baldwin, former nine year pro athlete. I started this whole brand called Working Your Games, all about giving you the game, the real game of life, whatever that game happens to be mindset, business, relationships, uh, social interactions, all of that stuff. Just giving people the straight up game, stuff that I learned as a pro athlete and translating it over to business and everyday life. So, the topic I want to talk about here today, and I was figuring out, I was thinking what I wanted to talk about on this live here. But I was on uh, YouTube and I was looking at some comments that I got on this video that I put out like years ago. I put this video out like three years ago. I was talking about overseas basketball because I played ball overseas. And I did this video talking about the G League tryout and just explaining to players like, listen, this, what they pitch as an opportunity might not really be the kind of opportunity that you think it is. And y'all just need to be wary if you're going to put your money into this and put your time into it. You might not really be getting the opportunity that you think you're paying for. And most, for the most part, the players who saw that video, they were happy. They were thanking me like, yo, Dre, thanks for putting me on the game and letting me know. And a bunch of other players who already been to the tryouts, they was like, yo, I had the same thing happen. Like, what you're talking about is real facts and all this stuff. For the most part, players were happy because they're like, yo, you're saving me time. You're saving me money from investing in something that's not really going to help me. But today, I don't know when this comment got left, but I saw somebody had left a comment and they were like, well, you ain't had to, you are being too negative. You should have just said, you no, know, maybe it's not the best opportunity, but at least gives players something to go off of. And this, this player appeared to be mad at me because I was explaining to him that, you no, know, this situation is not really as much of an opportunity as you think it is. What you would think a player would be like, yo, thank you for ch helping me save some time. But he seemed actually upset. <laughs> so he, I guess he called himself uh, dissing me for uh, putting, trying to put him on some serious game. And this, it wasn't even about this individual person. And just to let any of y'all know, anybody ever leaves a comment on any of my stuff talking crazy, I'm not going to go back and forth in the comments. What I do, if I got something to say to somebody from a comment, I go make new content so I can at least get some burn off it and other people can see it and hear what I got to say. Even if it's not about that topic, they get to see my style. And this is how I bring people into my world. It ain't really about going back and forth in the comments. So if you say something crazy to me in the comment, I'm probably going to block you. And if I do respond, I'm going to make some content that goes around the, the idea of what you said, not really about you personally, because that's just a better business book, just so everybody understands. So anyway, this got me thinking about just how men these days, I don't know where this came from, I don't know how exactly it started, I talked about this on my podcast, the video I just put up on YouTube, I think either came out yesterday or today, is just how men have become emasculated, that men are not being men anymore. It seems like men have you know, traded their nuts in for, I don't know what you want to call this, wokeness, Men have become more feminine. This is men not being men anymore. And I don't understand why this is happening. Why men seem to be, you know, a lot of men seem to be going in this direction. Not all men, but a lot of men seem to be going in this direction. I didn't really quite understand it. But I'm going to give you all three things real quick. Three things for men and females who are watching this. You write these down and you share them with the men in your life. I don't care if it's your son, your significant other, one of your homeboys. If it's uh, who are anywhere, anywhere you know men. Make sure they understand these things because we need men to be men again. Men need to have their nuts. Except what separates a man from a woman is men have testosterone, men have testicles. And for whatever reason, men are acting like they don't have testicles anymore. Not all men, again, some men, but it had me thinking about it from this comment that this person left that they should have been thanking me, but they actually got mad at me for telling them this. So I don't know why. So let's get into it. Number one thing that all men need to understand is there's a cold world out here. 
Now, I live in Miami. It's like 88 degrees here today. So it's actually kind of warm outside. Meta, it's warm outside, literally. I mean this metaphorically as a cold world, meaning not everything in world and life is like you no know, Sesame Street. All right, this is not Barney. Y'all remember Barney, the purple dinosaur? Uh, life is not like that. Everything is not going to be friendly. Everything is not going to work in your favor. Everything is not always going to go to you, the way that you want it to go. So you need to bundle up. And this is especially important for men. This is for women as well, but for men, bundle up. All right, it's a cold world out here. Things are tough. Things are harsh. Uh, other people are not going to always do what they say they're going to do. People are not going to follow through on what they tell you. You're going to think that you're getting an opportunity, but what you're really getting is hustled by somebody. They're just taking your money and calling it an opportunity, but not really giving you an opportunity. All right, there's a whole bunch of hustlers out here. There's a whole bunch of people that will uh, stab you in the back, snake you, sell you a wolf ticket. Like my man, people from down south like to say wolf ticket. Basically giving you what looks like an opportunity, but it's really not. Bundle up. All right, it's a cold world out here. It's tough out here. It's rough out here. And what helps you be a man is understanding these things. It's not being mad at them. It's not crying about it when you realize it. It's not getting upset at people for telling you the truth and putting you on the game. You should actually be happy when somebody puts you on a game and not getting upset. So number one thing that I want all men to understand to make sure that you still have your nuts when you check or right, next time you go to the bathroom or take a shower is is a cold world out here. Bundle the fuck up. That's number one. Bundle up is a cold world. Number two. And as a matter of fact, when I have working your game live in January, it's going to be warm here in Miami. So wherever it's cold, wherever you at, come here to Miami. It'll be 80 degrees. Two day event with me. and I'm going to give you all the game. Number two thing for all men to get their nuts back is be happy when you realize that it's a cold world. Be happy when you realize that you need your nuts to get through life. Or if you want to really be a man in life at some points, some points, plural, with an S on the end, you're going to have to grab your balls and go for what you want. At some points in life, you're going to have to grab your nuts and say, you know, I'm not going to stand for this. I'm not going to go for this. I'm not going to allow this situation to occur. I'm not going to let these things keep going the way they've been going. I need to take control of the situation. That's what men do. And people with nuts, people with testosterone, that's what we do. If any of you ever look up uh, masculinity and femininity, like the traits of masculinity and femininity on a scale, when men get into the extremes of masculinity, what some people might call it toxic masculinity, we start doing things like competing and we're trying to win all the time. We're trying to assert ourselves. We're trying to beat everybody. We're trying to prove ourselves right. Those things, again, you can call them toxic. You could even call them uh, negative energies, but understand that that is part of having testosterone. It's part of being a man is that we compete. We want to win. We want to assert ourselves. We want people to know that we're the best. We want to be seen. We want to be heard. And sometimes we might even take it to an extreme. But we should be happy that this these traits exist because no human being is perfect. So if we're going to go to the, the far end of masculinity, or we're going to go to the far end of either trait, then we should be going to the far end of masculinity, not femininity. All right, those that's for females, all right, people with ovaries. You have testicles, you want to go to the far end of masculinity, which is, it can be those things. And sometimes it just happens. It's just like we have extremes of weather. Sometimes here in Miami, it's super hot and humid. It's hard to even stand outside like I'm doing right now because it's too hot. And sometimes it gets really cold in certain places where you don't want to go outside. You can't even start your car. You, know, you get frostbite or whatever. Those are the extremes. These are things that just happen in life. You should be happy that these extremes exist because that allows the moderations to exist. But if you're not willing to deal with the extremes, you're not willing to deal with the good stuff, you're not capable or eligible to deal with the good stuff either. So be happy with the fact that sometimes in life, things are gonna be harsh, things are gonna be tough. You should be thanking anyone who puts you onto that game, not getting mad at the people who put you onto that game. And number three, for all men to get their nuts back or to make sure you still have them next time that you check, is understand that you cannot become tough without going through tough shit. You can't be tough without dealing with things that are tough. It's one thing to think tough, it's one thing to read books about tough, it's one thing to take a course about being tough, it's another thing to talk tough, but do you actually do things that are tough? And men do things that are tough. Now, I'm not saying women don't do these either, but this conversation is not for the females, this conversation is for the men. So the females who are watching this, again, pass this on to a man that you care about, a man that you know. You must deal with tough things in order to become tough. If you're not willing to deal with tough things, you're not able to deal with tough things, then uh, you might as well just give your nuts back. Wherever you got them from, you might as well give them back. As a matter of fact, you don't have to give them to nobody. Somebody's just going to snatch them off you, and you ain't going to do nothing about it because you don't have the toughness to fight back. And this is what happens to a lot of men in life. And again, I don't know when this whole thing started. I don't know who's responsible for it, but a lot of men are becoming feminized these days, whining, bitching, complaining, uh, looking at themselves as victims, uh, just making mountains out of molehills in situations where they should actually be happy that they got put on the game, complaining about getting put on the game. 
I don't understand this, but hopefully every once in a while I'll put something out here that might touch one person. I don't care if it don't have to touch a million people. I can touch one person and change one life for one of these messages, then I'll be happy. I'll say my work was done here for today. So let me recap these three points. If somebody got a question, post in the comments and I'll take them real quick and then we'll wrap this up. So three things for men to get your nuts back. Number one, understand there's a cold world out here bundle up cold world meaning things will not always go the way you want or expect and sometimes things are going to go the exact opposite way of what you want and expect and this is just life all right it's not a negative thing it's not something to complain about or whine about it's just like this is the way life works we get night we get day you get hot you get cold you got winter you got summer this is just the way life works expect it and accept it number two be happy when you realize this when you come to this realization and understanding be happy about it because now you are more prepared mentally for what's coming in life all right life is not always going to be perfect it's not always going to work the way that you want it to work feminine energy whines complains and feels like a victim masculine energy we get tough we grab our nuts and we figure out what we're going to do in that situation doesn't mean you're always going to figure it out doesn't mean things are always working in your favor but when you have testosterone and you are a man then you grab your nuts and you deal with the situation as it is even if the situation is kicking your ass you deal with it as it is because that's what a man does and number three you cannot be tough until you go through tough situations if you're not going through anything that's tough then you are not a tough person or you haven't gone through anything tough then you can't be a tough person and when you go through something that's tough that's when your toughness is built is when it's revealed and look that's what it is and life is tougher than itself so understand you don't have to go looking for a tough situation it will happen it will present itself to you the question is what are you going to do when it happens are you going to curl up into a ball like a biatch and be feminine with testicles or are you going to be a man grab your nuts and face the situation whatever it is even if the situation punches you in the face so that's what it is and i'm gonna tell y'all one last thing before we wrap this up unless i got questions if you haven't gotten this book that is what i pinned right there in the comments thirddaybook.com this book is free all you're going to do is cover the shipping i will ship this book to you wherever you live this is my newest book the decision that separates the pros from the amateurs and one thing we talk about in here is dealing with situations and developing your mental toughness to deal with whatever comes and for those of you who don't know I got a live event happening here in Miami, January 21st, 22nd. It's called Work On Your Game Live, leadership on day one, communication on day two. If you want to get better at one or both of those things, come to Work On Your Game Live. Again, that is in January next year in Miami, workonyourgame.live. That link is in my bio. Let me see if I got any questions. I'm not sure anybody asked a question. I wasn't looking, but I don't think I saw a question come through the comment section. So if somebody got a question, I'll give people like 15 seconds to post it. Hoop guy training was good. I appreciate you. And I don't think I had a question. Uh, goal setting habits. I appreciate you. So everybody, I'm going to start doing these lives a little bit more often than I have been. But I'm going to post this on YouTube as well. I'll put it on the IGTV here on IG. Just go to the IGTV tab. I'll save it there. And that's that. Everybody have a good Sunday night. Somebody said leadership for sure. Yeah, definitely come through. January 21st, 22nd. Working your game. Dot is that website. Y'all have a good Sunday. Working your game. We out.